Okay, this is the Brother 1500D uh, that I will sell. In addition to the photos that you will see online, I thought I'd do a video demonstration so that you can get an idea of how it works. Okay, the 1500D has one USB port right here. Right now I have it connected to my laptop. And sometimes you'll download designs to upload them to your machine. Uh, but right now I'm going to get out of this. Okay. What you'll do is we're going to work on a design that's already on the machine. So I'm going to, you have embroidery and embroidery edit. Uh, embroidery, if you just select embroidery, can you see it? It's right here. And that means you don't need to edit the design. You just put your hoop in and uh, let it embroider. Uh, edit embroidery is when you need to edit your design. So I'm going to select a design. I did select embroidery edit just to show you what you can do in edit. And I'm going to select the butterfly. I'll press set. Retrieving the pattern. Wait a moment. And there it is. So in edit, what you can do is uh, you can move it up. You can move it down. You can mirror it. Please wait a minute. Um, so you can go diagonal, left, right, uh, size if you want to decrease the size a little bit or increase. Um, so I want to put it back in the center, so I'll just press the center button right here. Okay, once you're finished with your editing, uh, you'll select Edit End and then select Sewing. And now it's ready. Okay, right now the start stop button is red. That means I can't do anything until I let the presser foot down. Pull the thread out just a little bit. Okay, let my presser foot down. Now it's ready. The start stop button is green. Um, right now it's telling me this design at the size it is will uh, do 5,960 stitches. And it's going to take me 18 minutes. The reason why it's going to take me 18 minutes is because I have it on the lowest setting. Um, I think the lowest is 350 stitches per second. I think the highest is 800. But I'll show you later in the video. And it's telling me I have five di different colors. One thing you, thing you can do if you want to save your design, um, you just click or touch this little pocket. And you'll see a little window you'll see an icon uh, with the machine and the pocket and you just click on that and it's saving. Okay, so it's saved. Okay, now we can begin. I'm going to, my presser foot is already down, I'm going to press the start stop button. And I've never been able to compare the sound of this embroidery machine with any other, but it's not loud at all. It does really nice embroidery work. And I like to baby just about everything I get. So right now I have it on 350 stitches per second. And I'll show you how to increase it if that's too slow for you. And it's counting up. Right now it's at 352 stitches. And this is a nice machine, even for a beginner. Um, a beginner, you might you might not be sure whether you want like a 700 PE or the 1500, but you don't have to worry about upgrading soon. So 
I would select the 1500D. I'm ready to upgrade. I've had this for a year and a half, and it has roughly 974,000 stitches, which is a low count. And this machine, to me, it's commercial-like. It's, it's, it's like heavy duty. It's, it's really good when I'm sewing, if I'm doing a project and um, I have a Kenmore. And if the material's too thick, I just bring it on over to the brother. I just wasn't sure if I would, you know, be, be sewing as much as I am now. So now I'm just ready to upgrade.